there are plenty of reasons why you might want to turn your rows into columns and vice versa. Perhaps you want to move your data and make it match some other existing format, or maybe you're analyzing data and you need a fresh view, or maybe you just don't like the way you set it up the first time. Whatever the reason, the process is called transposing or transposition, and fortunately, as you'll see in this lesson, Excel makes it really easy. Let's start off with a single column. Suppose we want to take this unit cost column and turn it into a row. First step is to copy it. Now I'm going to go over to a new tab, a new worksheet, just so we have some clean space here to work in. I'm going to go up to the paste command. I'm going to use the menu below the clipboard and open it up. You can see this top group is called paste. And the last item on paste is called transpose. As I point to any of these options, it shows what that option will do. Sometimes it's copying values, sometimes it's copying formulas, sometimes it's copying the formatting, but this last one, transpose, changes the order from columns to a row. So if I just click on that, paste it in as a row, might want to do a little bit of cleanup to get my column what's looking right, but it does the job and it works quite well. You can do the same thing taking this whole table of data. Let's see how that would work. Just go up here and click copy. I'm going to go over to a clean worksheet and select my cell. Now instead of using the commands here, I'm going to right click and you'll see that you have paste options on the context menu. And as you point to it, it shows you the different options. And what I'm going to do is go over here to transpose and click on that. You'll see things don't fit quite right, but what I can do while it's selected is I can go up to this line between the A and B column and double click on that and it'll fix my column widths. I'm going to go up here and select these guys, give everything a little bit more space. And you can see it's done a good job of transposing the columns into rows and the rows into columns. Sometimes there's a little bit of cleanup that you'll need to do after the fact. In this lesson, you saw how easy it is to copy data and then transpose the rows and columns when you paste it into a new location.